guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, I have absolutely no idea why I'm carrying this pool noodle right now. So yeah, goodbye to that thing. No, seriously guys, the reason I just jumped out of my car right here is because I just got back from the store because I bought something for the beginning part of today's video. And the thing that I bought is this bowling set right here. And basically me and random stuff are gonna be facing each other at bowling. Random stuff, say hello to everybody new that is watching. Hello, my dudes. My dudes. Okay, but now we're gonna head over here to like our little bowling lane and set this thing up so we can start this competition. Okay, so right here on this board is where we're gonna be setting it up at. So let's just go ahead and get started. Guys, the bowling pins aren't coming out. Stupid bowling pins. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got this little piece of paper right here. And this tells us the order that we need to set the pins up in. So now we just set these on these tiny little circles. All right, so now that we have it all set up, I need you guys to go smash that thumbs up button because this bowling set was super expensive. It costed me 50 cents to buy it. So any like on this video would be greatly appreciated. Okay, but for real, let's go ahead and start this bowling competition. And I forgot something in the car, actually, so let's go grab that really quick. Okay, the thing that I forgot is our beautiful, luxurious dice. And we're gonna get this out of here and then roll it, and whoever rolls a higher number gets the bowl first. So come on, dice, get out of the car! A few moments later. Okay, but for real, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this dice to see if I get to go first. Again, whoever rolls a higher number out of me and random stuff gets to be the first one to knock the pins down with the bowling ball. All right, so here I go. <laughs> One? Are you serious? Come on, dice. Well, apparently, really? Torque only got a one. So, like, this is gonna be super easy to win. <laughs> yes, I got a five. Let's go. Okay, well, random stuff just rolled the number five as you guys just saw right there. So now he gets to go first. All right, so I am the first one that is gonna be bowling and like, hopefully I can knock all the pins down. So let's just do it. Do it. Yes, I just knocked all the pins down. Torg, now you have to knock them all down just to tie me. All right, so it is now my turn to bowl and I have to make sure that I knock down every single pin just to tie random stuff. Because right now he is in the lead. He literally knocked all of them down on his turn. So I'm going to go in three, two, one. <laughs> no! I actually just missed every single pin. This makes me so mad. You know what? I'm going to make sure that I get all of you. Stupid bowling pins! Okay, guys, sorry about that rage right there. As you can see, I just absolutely demolished the bowling pin, so I guess we can no longer play bowling. I mean, but I obviously just won this challenge, so maybe you'll beat me one day, random stuff. Bro, you literally just ran him over with a car. I definitely won. You stupid. All right, now that I just destroyed my beautiful bowling set that I literally paid 50 cents for, I guess it is now time to end today's beginning part of the video. So I really do hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed today's main part of the video as well and also again please make sure you go smash that thumbs up button if you guys haven't already i would greatly appreciate it but yeah here's the main part of the video i hope you guys enjoy it and peace out until then wait i forgot my car tomorrow oh wait there you guys are no, seriously, what is up, Tor fam, and welcome to today's main part of the video. Now, guys, in today's main part of the video, something has already happened, and that is why we are recording right now, because I want to show you guys what it is that is going on. So let's go ahead and begin with a little bit of a story. Earlier today, I was walking outside, and I had my boxing gloves on, and I was just, like, walking down our steps, heading out behind our shed so I could, like, fight Rex. So I was casually walking through 
through our fence, I opened up like the gate and stuff. Whenever I looked to my right and I saw Rex, and Rex had like a piece of paper attached to him. Now well, this was no ordinary plain piece of paper because it said something on it. So I went inside, I got random stuff, and we grabbed the camera. And now we were gonna go over there to see what it is that the piece of paper says on it. So let's just go over to Rex right now. Alright guys, so Rex is really close. He is literally just about 20 feet away from us right now. So let's just hurry up and finish going over to him. Because he's like super far away and this is going to take a long time. What? Okay, that took like five seconds. Okay, here we are guys right now. We are at Rex And as you can see this is the piece of paper I was talking about that is attached to him So as you can see right here This actually says something on it Which means that there is literally some sort of no attached to Rex for some weird reason So let's go ahead and get ready to read this because I know I am very curious and you guys are as well as to what it says on it It says I'll have an important no for you by by the woods. Oh my goodness. This note says that there's gonna be another note for us over by our woods and that it's gonna be very important. But this doesn't say who it's from, so I literally have no idea what to expect. Because as you can see on the back right here, it doesn't say anybody's name, nor anywhere on the front of the note. So I guess what we're gonna have to do right now is get ready to go back by the woods. Try to find that other note that this note is talking about. So I really hope that we can find it, but I guess there's only one way to find out. So let's get ready to head back there right now. And really quick, I just gotta thank Rex for holding this note for us for however long it was out here for. I got you, fam. Okay, so you guys, let's head over there right now. But first, we're gonna need to like go grab something to like drive us over there so we can get over there way quicker. So let's go grab something really quick. Come on. Okay. Guys, let's take the go kart. This thing's like super fast. So let's just go ahead and take a seat. Oh my gosh, no way! The go-kart seat is all wet and muddy because we just had like a ton of rain and stuff. So that probably means that the tractor seat is all wet as well because it's been sitting outside. So I guess we're not gonna be able to take anything back there, which is totally fine because I'm feeling super muscular like I was in my last video. So I think I can walk over there all by myself this time as well. Now, before we walk over there, we are gonna need like some sort of weapon as well so that we are safe in case if we run into something like super crazy and aha uh -huh, off in the distance through my high-tech binoculars i can like see our next precious weapon let's hurry up and go get it Okay, so now we got the beach ball, which should be a pretty good defensive weapon because like these things are super solid and what? not like super bad Ow. All right, but seriously, guys, we are going to head back there right now for real this time. And I really hope that we do end up finding this note that we were told is going to be back there. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, so we are now back by the woods. At least we're getting pretty close. So now we need to really keep our eye out to see if we can find this note that it was talking about. So uh, let's just keep exploring. Guys, I'm gonna go climb this tiny tree to try to get a good bird's eye view to see if I can see it from up there. The big tree branch! <laughs> Alright, I am now super high up in the air. So I should be able to see super far now. 12 seconds later. Oh god! Okay, that did not work at all. I guess we're just gonna have to look around on the ground now. Let's use this stick right here that I just found on the ground to help us search. Sink, 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 sink. Oh! All right, so I've been out here looking around for a little while now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the camera down and just do a time lapse. And me and random stuff are gonna keep on looking around this area. And we will let you guys know if we find anything. 2,000 years later. Okay, guys. Well, sadly, me and random stuff have been looking around for a very long time now. And we have not been able to find any sign of that no. But according to my calculations, it is like approximately 90,000 degrees outside with humidity. So in other words, it is like super hot out here. So me and random stuff are gonna have to go ahead and take a break really quick. So we're gonna go back up to the house and we'll come back out here and explore some more. So we'll get back with you guys then. 
Yo, random stuff. Are you still filming? Yeah, Torg, I am. Okay, good, because guy, look, right in front of us, Tigger is literally in our path right now. Oh, snap. We had random that were literally just heading inside whenever we looked in front of us and Tigger was just right there in our path. We gotta head over there and like capture him right now before he gets away. Because we had to ask him if Pooh is like still missing. And if we still need to like help him find him. So come on, let's go. No! Guys, he like just disappeared. He was literally standing right here. Lord Tigger is literally right behind you in those weeds. Oh my god, random stuff, you're right. Guys, Tigger is literally in front of us right now. Let's go over here and approach him. Look, he's just sitting there completely still. And it looks like he's holding something. Like, maybe that's the note that we were supposed to find that's in his hand right now. Okay, I'm gonna grab whatever is in his hand, and I'm gonna pull it out right now, because I'm pretty sure it's the note that we were supposed to be looking for. Oh my gosh! We just literally pulled this out of Tigger's hand, and it looks like it's some sort of note. I wonder if this is the one that we were supposed to find. I don't know, but we're gonna get ready to read this, but first, let's get Tigger and, like, capture him, so that if we need to ask him any questions, we can. No! Guys, look! I turned my back for one second so I could show you guys this, and when I looked back over here, Tigger was gone. Oh, look, there's, like, this trail right here that leads back here to this wooded area. Oh, he must be back there somewhere. But we're probably not gonna be able to find him because there's tons of, like, weeds and sticker bushes and stuff right there. So let's just go ahead and see what this note says on it. Okay, so it says, who's still missing? Wait a minute. Tigger must have left us this note to let us know that Winnie the Pooh was still missing. Because if you don't remember in our last video, we actually found another note from Tigger that said that Winnie the Pooh was missing and that he needed our help to try to find him. But we didn't know if Pooh was still missing because we had no idea how long that note had been there for. But now Tigger literally just gave us this note right here confirming that Winnie the Pooh is still missing and that we still need to try to find him. So what do you guys think it is that we should do? Make sure you go in the comments Comments down below right now and let us know on how you guys think it is that we can capture Winnie the Pooh so that we can get him back to Tigger. I don't know, but sadly, Tigger ended up getting away as you guys just saw. So I guess there's really nothing else that we can do except for try to get Winnie the Pooh back, which we will probably do in a future video. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end the video right there. Really hope you all enjoyed it. It was a super crazy video. But yeah, we will see you guys next time on a brand new video with that one random Ginger. Peace out.